The Microsoft Technology Center is the 31st center we launch globally, and it signifies our commitment to bolster and grow the business and the economy here in Canada. It's a world-class facility that offers customers, partners, and stakeholders access to innovation technologies and industry-leading expertise through immersive experiences. And I stress immersive because you'll see that as you walk through the day. Here, Canadian businesses and government can envision, design, and deploy solutions to enhance their efficiency, competitiveness, and their bottom line. This will be an innovation hub for Canada. And while Microsoft and Canada are both known for being innovative, there is an opportunity for us to raise the bar here and make an impact to the bottom line of Canadian businesses and also drive our economy. An economy whose unemployment rate ranks, ranks lowest amongst the D6 and whose GDP growth is expected to surge in 2014. But as outlined in the State of the Nation 2012 report, um, the Science and Technology Innovation Council calls out that Canada still is in the middle of the road for innovation, ranking 25 out of 41 con countries. It calls out the need for Canadian businesses to innovate and bolder the economy. We at Microsoft, too, believe that innovation is the key to growth. And we invest $9.5 billion in R&D per year, and that continued innovation has really driven us through the economic downturn as you saw it in the world. Windows 8, Windows Phone, Surface, the pipeline of our new products and services powered by the cloud is a result of our continued investment in R&D. And it's allowed us to take advantage of some of the trends that have been coming out through technologies around mobile, social, cloud, and big data. And in the end, it's just not Microsoft that's going to benefit from all of this. We enable innovation in others through these products and services. And we work with a vast ecosystem of our partners that deliver a broad spectrum of tailored solutions for businesses as they move forward. And that's how the MTC fits into innovation. This center will enable Canadian enterprises to unleash this power, the power of technology. I want to think bigger in Canada, and the MTC is going to help us do that. Innovation will happen here. And just how we'll do that, through our architects, through our partners, we're ready to take on businesses most complex challenges and develop solutions which will not only address them but catapult these businesses to greater successes. Now if I was to go over and highlight some of the customer experiences individuals will have when they come to the technology center, it starts off with a strategy briefing where customers can come to our technology center and have a one-day briefing which examines their existing IT environment and we focus on their business objectives and help them envision a solution through providing them a powerful demonstrations in our envisioning center. If you look at some of the customers right now, what's resonating with many customers would be how I align my organization to the transformational trends that are occurring in the, in, in the industry today. For example, how do I gain pervasive insight through big data? How do I take advantage of reducing the total cost of ownership affiliated with public cloud solutions, private cloud solutions, or hybrid IT solutions? Or how do I integrate social back into my enterprise. So this is where we bring our customers, we conduct strategy briefings so they can envision what the future beholds. Next off, we focus on architecture design sessions. So once the customer has the ability to envision a solution, they work with our team of architects and we design a solution in our architecture design suites with the team of our architects and they can take on this solution into the next level, which would be a proof of concept. Now our facility has approximately $10 million worth of hardware from all of our different partners, and we take advantage of conducting proof of concepts where individuals can unlock innovation through a development suite which has access to our data center, and again, we solve customers' most complex challenges. In addition to that, we also provide interactive experiences and hands-on immersion, so again, customers can feel our technology before they purchase them and have the opportunity to work with them in a guided tour format. I also want to call out some of the features of our technology center. So when we do unveil the technology center, we definitely want you to take advantage and take a look at the facility. We have individuals within the facility, so you can look at the feature wall, interact and explore with our latest Windows 8 devices. We have architecture design sessions with collaborative environments where you can design solutions. We have an executive briefing suite with the first link room system in the world, which allows you to integrate and collaborate with others around the world. We have an envisioning center, which has multiple vignettes, which represents how do we envision solutions for the future. We have development suites, and we also have an interactive center on the first floor, and you also have device bars throughout the facility. So 
what we've got here is we've got a room that's actually running off a Link Online tenant, Office 365. I've got my laptop here. This is actually Microsoft, and we're federated between these tenants. And I've also got a Surface device that's joined into the meeting as well. And you can see all the different multi-party video streams. And we can have an immersive video conference in this case. Now, Molly has chosen not to turn on her video. But that's OK. We still see a nice picture of Molly, and we still feel engaged. What we can do is switch and bring in content, because that's what we were really noticing was also lacking in traditional video room system experiences is that ability to actually interact and collaborate over and above just seeing each other was a bit limited. So what we're seeing here is a PowerPoint that's been uploaded into the session, and either remotely or in the room, we can change the slides and interact with it. What if we want to do something a little bit more collaborative, like actually engage in a whiteboarding session? Simple tap, pick up the pen, and we can then interact on the whiteboard. Great, in the room, we're all using the whiteboard, and that's pretty, pretty powerful. But what about all the people remotely? They're also fully engaged and actually using the same meeting and can articulate and actually work with the same whiteboard. So what we've done is we've brought everybody from the outside to be a compelling and actually engaged participant in the meeting. And if you want to erase it, you can do that. It's not going to mess up your hand. <laughs>